Hey guys, welcome back. Today's vlog is super exciting because we are starting on the nursery. We have to like clean it out and kind of get everything prepped and I'm gonna see if we can put together the crib today. I told Omar he cannot work today because I need him to help me with so much stuff. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna be doing a lot of the work and I'm just gonna be like directing because a lot of the stuff is heavy and like I just have an excuse now that I'm pregnant. <laughs> You guys would know by now that we're having a little girl and we're so excited and I just have such amazing plans for her little room so let me show you guys where we're starting from and then show you guys kind of like what my plan is for the nursery okay so this is our extra bedroom um, right now as you can see it's just kind of like storing a bunch of random things it has Leo stuff in here we literally call this Leo's room like we've called it that since we've gotten him because that's where we keep his litter box and don't worry I don't don't go near the litter now that I'm pregnant. I've gotten so many messages on Instagram telling me to stay away and don't worry, I do. We keep his litter in here, his toys, um, his cat tree stays in here and like just bed and just all his things. <laughs> so we're gonna have to relocate him. I think we're gonna put his litter box in the upstairs bathroom because we never use it. And that's really the only space that we have. And then for the cat tree will probably go upstairs as well in Omar's man cave. <laughs> this is the mirror that used to be in my blog room and my dressing room. And I switched it out to the gold one. And now, I mean, I still love this mirror. I just don't know exactly what to do with it. I might use it in here if, if I see that it matches or whatever, but honestly, probably gonna be getting rid of that. Wanted to show you guys the progress of her dresser. So this is from Ikea and we're almost finished putting it together. I'm hoping we can finish it today. We just have three drawers left. I love the minimal design. I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through my ideas for the rest of the nursery, but basically I want everything to be white and gold and blush pink and gray. That's kind of like the color scheme. And I'm drawing a lot of inspo from Restoration Hardware Baby. I actually have a chandelier, not one from Restoration, but one very similar to this one that we are spray painting gold. And these are actually the crystals that go on it. And I'm so excited. I just think it's gonna be so pretty in here. I got this little letter board, basically so I could take pictures at the hospital, inshallah, and put it like in the crib. I've seen some Pinterest photos like that. And they put like the name and like the date and the weight and length and just all the information for the delivery. And I just thought it was so cute. Um, <laughs> and so far she has a last name. <laughs> We actually have not picked a name yet. I get that question so much and we just can't decide on a name. We have like a list of like maybe three names and we just can't decide. So I think we decided we're just gonna have to see her first inshallah and then decide what she looks like and what her name is gonna be. But yeah, we just don't, <laughs> we have no idea what her name is gonna be yet. This mirror back here is actually a huge round mirror that's gonna go on this wall here. And it's basically gonna like fill up this entire wall. So that's gonna go above the dresser. This is the crib that we need, still need to put together. It's also white, so I just want all the furniture in here to be white. And I'm hoping that this is a lot easier to put together than the dresser was. I heard in the reviews it said that it wasn't hard to put together, so I'm hoping. This little marble side table is also for the nursery. Um, it's gonna go, I think, in this corner just to have next to the glider. I ordered one from Pottery Barn a long time ago. I think I ordered it back at the beginning of January or something like that and it's not supposed to get here until May. So I'm glad I ordered it when I did, but it's gonna be like a white glider with the white and gold side table. And then I think we're gonna put the crib on this back wall. I'm also getting her a little mini clothing rack so I can like put all her little clothes on a mini hanger. I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. So that may go in this corner back here. Let me show you the closet. This is the closet, literally just has random stuff in here, just some random storage boxes, some stuff that we used when we first moved into the house, like, like shelf liners and drawer liners and stuff. And then we have some extra random pillows. So we're gonna clean all this out, hoping to mop the entire floor in here, like obviously vacuum and mop, and then like wipe down the cabinets in the closet, but I'm super excited to just get this room ready. Omar is on a run right now. He's gonna come back and shower and then help me with the room. Once we finish the dresser, I'm hoping to add some like maybe gold bar pull handles or maybe some just some kind of gold knobs or something just to add a little bit of detail onto the dresser. But I do still like the minimal design, I'm not sure. I'll just have to kind of 
see what it looks like and see if I need to add them. But I did want to share with you, I do have a little collection of clothes. Oh my goodness, you guys. Can you even? I knew you knew that her color palette was going to be <laughs> the same as mine, but I have absolutely nothing essential. Everything is just cute and unnecessary right now. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing else except for cute dresses, cute like tops and leggings and just cute outfits. I have nothing that's actually essential like onesies, like anything else <laughs> so right now i'm just gonna focus on the nursery and then yeah we'll get all of like the essential things later but anytime i see something cute like like get baby zara or h&m or anything i just have to grab it i'm just like i can't help it it's so cute since everything is just kind of plain gold and white and gray in here um i was thinking about maybe adding let me find it isn't everything in here just stunning okay this is it um I've seen a lot of nurseries have this like floral statement wall and I was thinking maybe to do that on this back wall where the crib's gonna be because everything else is just gonna be kind of like plain and white and simple. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I'm probably, if I do decide on that, it won't be till the very end whenever everything's finished and I can just kind of see if we need to add more detail, but I think it's beautiful and I also love this like pink bedding too. Okay, I finally have Omar, so we can get to work. Love these shoes. <laughs> upset that we're kicking you out of your room? Yeah. I think he's but upset. I'm moving out. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> we're not the baby anymore. Okay, so we vacuumed, mopped, and this place smells so good. And it's all clean. Now we're going to put down the rug. I actually got a rug pad. So it'd be like a super soft space for the baby. I've never used one of these before. So. Okay, we moved the rug pad to go this way rather than that way. Walmart said it looks better that way. And I guess, I guess it does. Okay, so let's put the actual rug. Okay, the rug is down. And it looks so good. So this is actually the exact same rug that I have in my dressing room and in our master bedroom. But I just put a pad under this one because it just is a lot softer with the pad. It'll be better like whenever the baby is old enough to like crawl and like we have a, like a bigger space for her to like crawl around on. <laughs> this will be after the gender reveal. <laughs> Next on the agenda is to put together the last three drawers. Update, we are putting together the drawers to finish off this dresser. And we took a prayer break. And then... One down, two to go. Yeah, two more to go. We're going to finish the dresser and then I want to eat, okay? All right. Okay. And 
I think, like I said, I'm gonna probably add like the little handles or knobs or something to add a little bit of detail, but I really like how simple it is. I already showed them this. Isn't that so cute? Wow. <laughs> here he is in his new home. <laughs> this is Omar's man cave. This is just a little corner of it. We have his bed that he doesn't sleep in. And his cat tree. Do you like it? Are you depressed? He's just sleepy. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a break to eat. I made roasted chicken and potatoes. I already tested it out. <laughs> and I made salad with just like literally whatever else I had in the fridge. All I had left was like a little bit of lettuce, some red onion, and some mint. And so I just added some lemon and olive oil and salt. I don't know what we're gonna do next week. We have rice. I know, honestly, I'm scared about going grocery shopping for next week. Okay, break time's over. Last little thing that we're doing today is little the thing. <laughs> okay, the biggest thing. But I looked at the reviews and it said that it only took like 30 to 45 minutes for people to put this thing together, which is way shorter than this dresser took us. That dresser took a long time. So, yeah, I like I just like never want to buy things that we haven't put together ever again because Omar did most of the work and I was the one like all stressed about it. So, <laughs> okay, time lapse. I don't know how the time lapse ended, but I think it might have cut us off at the end, but we finally finished it. <laughs> we couldn't find the instructions for some reason at first, so we looked up the online instructions, which were kind of out of order, but we figured it out. <laughs> it turned out really pretty, but now I was expecting this to be a little smaller, I think, because I was planning on putting the chair there. So Omar said I could like scoot it over, but I kind of wanted it to be in the center of this wall. So, I guess, yeah, I'll figure it out. Maybe I can put the chair here. We'll see. So it is a few days later. I did try to vlog a little bit yesterday because we were putting up the chandelier that I'm going to share with you guys in just a second. But you guys, literally, <laughs> last night, Omar and I were putting this chandelier up by ourselves, mostly Omar, obviously. <laughs> And this is the first time we'd ever put up a light fixture this complicated and big. And anyways, it took us like probably, would you say like two hours? Probably. Yeah, it took us like two hours. And by the end of it, I was so hungry. My hijab was off. I did not want to film anymore. <laughs> I was over it. I'm just going to share with you guys the final result of like everything that we've done so far. Obviously going to be still taking you through the rest because we still have a lot more to go with the nursery. But let me share with you guys everything so far. Okay, here is an overview of the room and I am absolutely obsessed with the chandelier. Let me turn it on for you guys. That's what it looks like on. It is so beautiful. The lighting in here is a little bit weird with it on, so I'm gonna turn it off, but um, I wanted to share like where everything is from because I don't think I shared that yet. I can't actually remember the exact website. I will leave the link to the chandelier down below, but I've just looked forever trying to find like the perfect one that was very restoration hardware inspired. I couldn't find a gold one, so it was silver and I spray painted it gold. My mom helped me. Um, I actually used this spray paint it's the modern farmhouse by rustoleum you can only get it at home depot so i'll link that too but it was the perfect gold that's not too yellow it was beautiful the only thing is there is one little silver piece that i didn't paint so i'm gonna have to go in with a brush and just like 
paint that just to finish it off but it is so beautiful here's the final result with the crib i did order a crib mattress and bedding and i'm so excited um but the crib is just from wayfair i think it was like it was definitely under 300 it was like two something so not like terribly terribly expensive i just wanted one that was like super like modern minimal clean white and i really liked how um it just had a really simple backboard design the side table that's going to go next to the glider is from target and this rug i believe is from either wayfair or overstock but i will link it because it's one of my favorite rugs i do recommend getting a pad for it because it just makes it so much softer and more cushiony i wanted to share a couple of gifts for the baby that i got from some small companies this is a gift from labelle baby i reached out to them because they had the most stunning bows and i thought these were so gorgeous for a newborn baby um they're like this beautiful velvet um, material on a little headband it's so soft i just can't wait they sent me the most gorgeous array of neutrals and blush tones and it just matches her wardrobe already perfectly look at that <laughs> these are definitely going to be the first bows that i put on her they are so so beautiful i think it is so important to support our small businesses right now in today's economic climate and these are so gorgeous so if you have a little girl these are so so beautiful okay the next little gift i wanted to share is from a brand called petite maison kids and they have the most beautiful little sets and outfits for babies look how gorgeous this little knit set is with the pom-poms and this little bear hat i cannot get over how cute that is um she won't be able to wear this until she's about like six months so this will be for next like fall winter time but oh my gosh it's just so so cute <laughs> I already ordered some stuff to organize the drawers in her dresser and I, I ordered some baskets to organize her closet and some little like gold and velvet hangers. I'm so excited to get this whole space organized and just get everything in and put her bedding up and her curtains and everything. So super excited to like finish off her nursery with you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we've done so far. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.